Hello everyone, welcome to another video on CISP exam questions and answers video series. In today's video, we will study the CISP domain 5 that is identity and access management. So let's get started with the questions and answers. So question number one in today's video is that what type of password cracking attack will always be successful? And the options are brute force, dictionary, hybrid and rainbow table. So these are different types of password cracking attacks and uh, we will we have to find the answer that what attack is always successful. So the correct option is brute force. So brute force is always uh, successful given the condition that you have enough time and compute resources so if you have enough time and enough resources the brute force basically tries all the combination of the password and eventually you get to the required password so this is the correct answer question number two is that what is the difference between password cracking and password guessing and the password uh, the correct answer is already highlighted so we'll, uh, we will directly go to the correct answer and the answer is that password guessing attempts to log into the system while password cracking attempts to determine a password used to create a hash. So another distinction is that password guessing is usually on a live system and uh, there, is, there is always uh, the danger of account lockout account lockout in password guessing because you are attempting the password guess uh, guesses on the live system while the password cracking it is on a it is a passive attempt on password hashes so this is the correct answer question number three is that two users on the same system have the same password but different hashes but different hashes are stored in the slash etc slash shadow file. So what is the most likely reason that the hashes are different? So different hashes for the same password but different user and the, uh, the, uh, options are the, uh, the, the options are that the usernames are different so the hashes are different. Use of multiple hashing algorithms use of rainbow tables and use of salts and the correct answer is use of salts so along with password the use of salt makes the hash different for the same password because the salt are different question number four is that what authentication method method exposes the password in clear text and the options are CHAP, Challenge, uh, challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol, Kerberos, PEP, Password Authentication Protocol and CSAM. And the correct answer is PEP or Password Authentication Protocol. This protocol uh, stores the password in clear text on the server. Question number five is that what are the main differences between retina scans and the iris scans? And the options are retina scans are not invasive and iris scans are. Option two is iris scans invade a person's privacy and retina, uh, and retina scans do not. Option three is iris scans change depending on the person's health while retina scans are stable. And the last option is that retina scans change depend on the person's health while iris scans are stable. And the correct answer is that the retina scans change depend on the person's health while the iris scans are stable. Question number six is that what is the most important decision an organization needs to make when implementing or back or role-based access control and the options are 
each user security claims needs to be finalized option 2 is the role user have on the system need to be clearly defined option 3 is users data needs to be clearly labeled and options 4 in the last option is that users must be segregated from one another on the IT system to prevent spillage of sensitive data and the correct answer is that the user roles that this, uh, the use the role the users have on the system need to be clearly defined Question number seven is that what access control method weighs additional factors such as time of attempted, uh, attempted access before granting access and the options are content dependent access control, context dependent access control, role based access control and task based access control and the correct answer is context based access control so this access control requires additional uh, factors such as time besides the user usual uh, authentication uh, requirements such as the username and password so the time is one of the factor that is used in the context based location may be another factor while using the context based access control Question number 8 is that what service is known as cloud identity and allows organization to leverage cloud service for identity management. And the options are IaaS infrastructure as a service, IDaaS identity as a service, PaaS platform as a service and SaaS software as a service. This question is very straightforward and the correct answer is identity as a service IDAAS stands for identity as a service while the IAS is platform as a service and the cloud identity service is given through the IDAAS or identity as a service module question number nine is that a type 2 biometric is also known as what options are cross over error rate equal error rate false accept rate and false reject rate and the correct answer is false accept rate so uh, there is a trick to remember this answer that type 2 is type 2 error is worse than type 1 It means that as we know that false accept rate is worse than error 1 and we can also say that 2 is greater than 1. So 2 is the false accept rate and 1 is the false reject rate and it, uh, this is the trick that you can use to remember. Within Question number 10 is that within Kerberos which part is single point? of failure and the options are the ticket granting ticket, the realm, the key distribution center and the client server session key and the correct answer is the key distribution center. So the key distribution center that distributes the key it is the single point of failure because if, is, if the key distribution center fails there is no way to grant the ticket granting session key uh, to the ticket granting ticket and other session key question number 11 is that what is an xml based framework used for exchanging security information including authentication data and the options are kerberos openid saml and csam and the correct option is saml our security uh, S, so the SML stands for security assertion markup language so this is the correct answer 
Question number 12 is that what protocol provides a common open protocol for interfacing and querying directory service information provided by network operating systems using port 389 via TCP or UDP? And the answer is already highlighted. The correct answer is LDAP. Question number 13 is that server A trust server B, server B trust server A, and then server A therefore trust server C. What term describes this trust relationship? And the options are domain trust, forest trust, non transitive trust, and transitive trust. And the correct answer is transitive trust. The uh, name of this option clearly indicate the answer that the truss is transitive or is it transits through different hierarchies. Question number 14 is that a policy that states a user must have a business requirement to view data before attempting to do so is an example of enforcing what? And the options are risk privilege, need to know, rotation of duties and separation of duties and the correct answer is need to know question number 15 is that what technique would raise the false accept rate and lower the false reject rate in a fingerprint scanning system and the options are decrease the amount of miniature that is verified increase the amount of miniature that is verified lengthen the enrollment time and lower the throughput time and the correct option is decrease the amount of uh, miniuchi that is verified. So if you decrease the amount of points that are scanned by the system then the false accept rate it would be raised while the false reject rate would be lowered. So that's all for today. I hope you have learned something from today's video. I will soon upload the video for the next domain. So please subscribe and stay tuned. Bye bye.